what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel it's so great to have you guys i also wanted to welcome back all of my brand new subscribers and anyone who's randomly coming across this video it is so great to have you guys so with that being said today's video is going to be pretty short and sweet i just wanted to introduce you guys to all of the new babies that i have gotten because i used to just have three babies and now that number has doubled so let's get to it All right, so the first three babies you already know about. One is Nyx. She is the one that I have had the longest out of the bunch that I have. Nixie is eight years old now. She's super sweet. She'll be nine years old in November. She's the one that has a little bit of a walking issue because she was in a rescue and abused and neglected. She was used as a breeder lizard and now I will never use her for breeding. I have her in a tank that is smaller because she doesn't do well in the bigger tanks. And she is honestly just the sweetest little baby. The next baby is Aether. This rambunctious little guy is about three or four years old now. There's really no definite on his age. I just know he's younger. He was relinquished to my brother's store when he used to work at a Petco and they gave him to me. He was only fed apple cores and he was dyed blue from the substrate that they had him in. They had him in blue sand and he was pooping blue and it was just a whole mess and I literally created a bearded dragon soap specifically for him. Him. This soap is all natural and if you wanted to check it out, it is safe for them. I wouldn't sell it if it wasn't. I use it on my babies as well. So I will put the link to that in the bottom, but it's at www.lizardguru.com. The third one is Piernes. When I first got her, she was missing all of her legs. Then she grew them back after disappearing for like five months. With her, I've had about three years now at this point and she is doing fantastic she has molted three or four times for me already and doubled in size and she's doing great <sighs> let's see if i can't go get her this is pianis <laughs> she does not like to be held okay this is her okay <sighs> oh, i really am not trying to drop you work with me Okay, little crab. So this is Piernes. <laughs> they are pretty hard to uh, get video of because these are really not holding creatures. This is the first time I've gotten her on my actual camera. So she's not too big. Males get a bit bigger, but this is her and they're gonna keep going sideways. She's doing pretty good right now. <laughs> okay. Please don't pinch me, you've been very good about that. So they're about orange, purple, and white, and that's their coloring. She is not a fan of this at all. But there's Piernes. <laughs> well that was an adventure. So now that we're done meeting the babies we already had, let's meet some new ones. And this one does not have a name, but she is a Euromastix. She's super sweet, super nice, a little shy still, not too keen on being held. She is the sweetest little baby. She's got a lot of snout on her nose and everything. I still need to get her fattened up a little bit, but she is brand new. I don't have a name for her still, but she is doing well. What do you guys think I should name her? Because I don't have a name yet and she is doing well. I'm gonna get her some more foodie foods. I don't have a lot of footage of her yet because I've been trying to let her acclimate and do all she needs to do. But I was wrong in one thing when I was teaching about Euromastics. I said that they aren't really as much of handling creatures as bearded dragons are. But the thing is, is if you handle these guys enough as well, you can handle them. The only issue is, is they need temperatures that are a lot hotter than bearded dragons. So it's not good to have them out quite as long. For example, I turned off my air conditioning right now and I am sweating under these lights it's about 80 degrees in here because I turned off my air conditioning but that was a good enough excuse for me to bring her out for this time while I have her filming this is her and uh, yeah say goodbye say goodbye princess she's like leave me alone please all right so that was the new year Mastix, and now I'm gonna introduce you to the geckos this is bean <laughs> bean is very active we love bean and bean is about a few months old Bean is just the sweetest. Okay, she's probably gonna try to jump at the camera. She is super sweet. I have determined it is a girl because I don't have balls and she just jumped at the camera, hello. She still has her tail. She is just the most active baby. 
Okay, she is not a rescue. I did not get her from like a special breeder or anything. She was just someone that I picked up from a store because I really just wanted a gecko. Oh, hello, yep. And she was the most rambunctious one that just kept going around everywhere and she has great grip. She has gotten out once. Yeah, you, I'm talking about you. And I found her up in the corner of my ceiling. I was like, great, okay, I need to secure that lid a little bit more because I never understood how people were losing their geckos. Then I did it. I was like, okay, well, <laughs> all right. Who? <sighs> Bean. All right. And the difficult part is putting her back. Yeah, it is. I'm talking about you. Yeah, you. Oh. So this little gecko does not climb very well, nor does it have great grip, which is a little concerning. Like she slip slides everywhere. She or he, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. They're super tiny, just the smallest little thing. They're covered in substrate because they just lay in the substrate all the time because they don't climb well. I think what I'm going to do is get a tank with just some paper towels in it, maybe? and see how they do there. This one is only a few weeks old. The toes stick upwards instead of downwards like normal geckos, it seems. It's just like, this one can't even grip at all. Little concerning, but this one I have. It also seems that their tail is a little bit crooked, so I think they honestly might have calcium deficiency or something like that. I also picked them up from a store and they were the last one there. Um, I just wanted another gecko, but I always picked the gimpy ones and she was looking a little gimpy, so I picked her up and I wanted to see if I couldn't help get her back. But yeah, I'm gonna switch her into some paper towels, but this is the other gecko. All right, and this is my last baby. Her name is Freya and she is a hedgehog. Excuse all of the substrate in her quills. I had to get her and she was burrowed. I love her to pieces. She is only about four months old now and I will be doing a care video on them with the breeder herself probably next week on Wednesday. She was a couple hundred dollars but she is just so sweet. She's finally used to my scent now. These guys are not used to being held naturally so you have to constantly constantly hold them and handle them for them to stay used to you but they're also kind of naturally dirty so you have to keep washing them and stuff but this is Freya and she is just the sweetest little baby. I love her and I'm sure that you guys would love her too. Just a sweet girl, if she could focus. There we go, there she is. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go play her back now. <laughs> all right, you guys, so that was all of the babies. I hope you enjoyed meeting them because some of them did not enjoy being with the camera. <laughs> But if you're still watching, be sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Also be sure to check out my second channel at Alex's Random Entertainment. Going to be switched to ARE Studios, Alex's Random Entertainment Studios. On this channel, it is adult stories from my life that I animate and some of them aren't animated where I do with my friends and sometimes there is drinking involved. So again, this is an adult channel if you are going to go watch that, so be mindful. Also be sure to check out my website at www.lizardguru.com to find my all natural lizard sh soap, shed spray, activity books, stickers, and more things yet to come. So with that being said, stay tuned for some bloopers and extra animal footage if there is any. And as always from my family to yours, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Mwah! So she doesn't get cold. Um, the risks we make for our babies, I swear, because I am whoo, sweating bullets. I'm, I hope y'all don't see that because I feel like a sweaty little pig right now. Please don't fall, Bean. But yes, the- oh! Now we're just gonna put you back. Okay. 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 Ah! No, Bean. End the thing. End the thing. Okay. No, no. End. Stay in. <sighs> so this one is covered in substrate because they just don't seem to climb very well. Okay. She was trying to bite her foot. What the hell are you doing?
got the orange and black. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't pinch. I better. Here's Pierre's. Oh my God, she's on my couch. She has not pinched me. She does not pinch. Oh, there's a crab in my couch. <laughs> Pinch me. Um, she really doesn't pinch. I bet I. Oh, Here's Pierre. Here's Pierre. Oh, just a crab on my lap. She has not pinched me. She does not pinch me. Um, she really doesn't pinch. I bet I. <laughs> she got lost